18 months ago, Violin Memory CEO Don Basile made a startling statement. NAND itself is immediately gets worse. So as the generations go, it gets slower, not faster, but it's a chip technology. But yeah, it's a chip technology, but it's not really, but it is. And so it's going to slow down. It gets more error prone, okay? Uh, and it gets harder and harder to program in the sense you have to do things at much, much bigger scale. As feature sizes get smaller, the number of electrons in a flash memory cell decreases. Fewer electrons are more prone to leakage and more difficult to read. Additional ECC, improved signal processing, greater bandwidth, and smarter controllers are required to use slower, denser flash. These improve performance and reliability, but must be added to raw consumer flash. Working directly with the flash enables many kinds of optimizations. Some array designers use solid state drives, SSDs, to build flash storage arrays. Without chip level access, they can only optimize the software layers above the SSD interface. The difference in philosophy between violin and SSD competitors has real world impact on cost and complexity. Using SSDs gives a faster time to market. Going direct to the flash gives you faster storage. Violin has four layers of hardware control technology. So we make the chips, four layers of chips, ASEX. They go in our device that lets us get more performance with lower latency for less cost out of a flash system than anybody else. But even more important is the impact on overall system performance. Here, Don says that Violin is seeing a large increase in performance per processor core. Well, on the Violin infrastructure uh, versus a non-Violin infrastructure, okay, a conventional vendor's infrastructure, whether it has plugged uh, SSD devices in or not, uh, we're looking at getting anywhere from three to five times more per core. It's a big number. We can see this in the real world. When Pure Storage announced their latest all SSD array, they went from a single rack of SSDs to three racks of SSDs to double their performance. Since when does three times one equal two? They've increased their footprint. Okay? They've increased the amount of NAND they've had to use to deliver that performance improvement. And generally, from what we've seen, they've increased the amount of DRAM they've had to use as well. So DRAM is going to take power. More shelves are going to take power. More NAND means their cost of goods have gone up. They've taken up more footprint for you. In direct contrast to us by going right down to the chip technology, by having our own chip technology, our own software, we've maintained the same footprint. We've reduced the power, not increased it. We've used the same number of NAND chips, not more. So it hasn't changed here. And we increased the performance. Okay? And we've gone to the leading geometry to get there. Right, which is the hardest one to use. Architecture matters. SSDs are used to improve the performance of traditional storage arrays, or in the case of some newer competitors, replacing hard drives with SSDs. But why? If we had invented Flash 50 years ago, would we now package it up to look like disk drives? The short answer is no. The Storage Mojo take. The proof, as they say, is in the pudding. Violin's new 6264 array uses industry-leading 19 nanometer process technology and is faster, denser, and more power efficient than its predecessor, all with technology that is slower than before. Meanwhile, a leading all SSD array has recently announced 2x performance with three times the number of drives. Storage architecture investments are strategic. Only storage technologies that can support you over several generations without requiring more power, rack space, and cost in the future are worth investing in today. For Storage Mojo, I'm Robin Harris.